Hey everyone, Brian here. We're going to go through the Coast Cabin Google Calendar. So, right off the bat, what I've done and what I can do for anyone else is create a, an icon here on the desktop that will go directly to our calendar feature on Google. So, I just double click on there and then things will get going. So, right off the bat, as it's loading, what you'll need to do here is log into your Gmail account. Okay, and if you don't have a Gmail account, what you'll need to do is you need to click create account right here and it will take you through the steps really easy. But since I've already done this, I will add my email and then my password. And from there, it'll take me directly to the calendar feature on, on Google. So, what we need to realize first is that this is your complete calendar. Um, it will it'll kind of link in other things from other areas of your email and, and stuff like that. So, if that were the case, and what usually it defaults to is that all these boxes will be checked. And what that'll do is that will clutter up all this stuff with a lot of other things. So, um, that's not necessarily ideal. So, what I would recommend is you uncheck all of these boxes. It's going to take a little bit of time. So that it's only the coast cabin down here. So you want to uncheck these and it'll be only the coast cabin. So now it is only the coast cabin calendar. And the best view we're going to take is all coming from the month. You can try the others but the month is where we're at. So if we're looking at March 2020, um, you can look that I've created this fake event already, Brian Coast Open, and I'll go through what that means in a second, but all these other weekends are free. You can scan to the next month and the next month and so on, no matter how far you want to look out. So let's just say I know I want to be there um, April, let's say, 18th. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an event. And what I'm going to, how I'm going to do that is just click in the box right here, okay? And you start by just putting your name. Sorry about that. Click, add, add your name. And then we're going to go cabin. And we're either going to go open, closed, or family, okay? What, we're, what those three mean, open, means that I just wanted to go to the coast. It's a, it's a great week for my work schedule, things like that. Um, but I'm very open for anyone that wants to go to join me. Um, just let me know, just so we can kind of figure out who's sleeping where and who's bringing what. So that's what open means, is that I want to go, but I'm totally okay and would like people to join me. Closed is for those cases where you're going with a, a friend a friend group or coworkers or something like that, where um, you would likely want to just have a more intimate setting. Um, in these cases, it's uh, we shouldn't be showing up unannounced to the cabin. If you're going to be showing up for whatever reason, or if you want to go, um, it would mean talking to the person who started the event, in this case me, before doing so. Okay. And then family is similar to open, but this is if you're like actively recruiting people to go. Um, so if you're saying family, you're saying, well, I want to be there and I want everyone to join. So if people were to see this, they might be like, ooh, Brian wants me to come and I want to, you know, uh, join them with that. And so family um, can be used for a couple different reasons. And I'll go through one more in a second here, such as holidays. And uh, but mainly we'll probably stick to open and close. But family is another good way to just say, hey, I want as many people possible to come join me. So I'm going to just put Brian cabin open. OK, and this is going to give me April 18th, which is the day I clicked on. And then to get a wider range, I just go to this one, click on it and I can see 18th and I'm going to click to the 19th. So I'm going to be there for two days. I'm going to get there on the 18th. I'm going to leave the 19th. If you wanted to add a time, I'm going to get there in the morning and leave in the night. You can add that right there. Um, you can also add a description. So if I was going to say, you know, let's go fishing. OK. That would just let people know it's going to show up when they click on it that, oh, Brian's going to be there and he wants to go fishing. That would be really fun. Uh, and then easy as that, you're just going to click save. And it will save. 
So now that's stuck on the, the calendar for everyone else to see. And if they want more details, they can click on it and it'll jump up. Let's go fishing, you know, go into the Coast Cabin calendar. Okay, created by Brian Duke. Um, so what I talked about with family is that you can add, for instance, for the 4th of July. Sorry about that. You can just like it's a family event and it is on um, every day on the 4th of July or every, sorry, every year on the 4th of July, we're always going to have it like a family thing. Um, Memorial Day, 4th of July, things like that. We can just be always off the table. It's going to be a family um, weekend and everyone's welcome. Just, of course, let's coordinate on who's going to be there and when they're going to be there. So um, the only thing else that I think would be beneficial and we can work through this is that if I'm going to make an event right here, what I can do is I can go into more options and I can add Brian cabin closed. I'm going to go with some close friends and I'm going to go for two days and it's on all day. I'm not going to put it in any time. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the color to red. That's the only thing I'm going to do differently than any other um, events I've shown you so far. And that's just going to be an easy way to look at it. And I'll show you how that looks in a second. So if I click save and it's going to pop up here in July because that's when I clicked on it. So now it's going to be family weekends are in blue, closed weekends are in red, open weekends are in green. So if we want to do color coordination, I'm all for it. If for some reason, or it seems like that um, open and close is more than sufficient, we'll go for it. But that is basically it. Um, so if you wanted to get other calendars back on, you could click your name back in and, and things could add in. But sticking with the coast cabin would be the only thing clicked. And um, if you wanted to try some other of these looks, um, you could do so um, just by doing you know things like that. And it'll show you when these events are going to be in a different format. But I think that sticking with monthly is going to be the way to go. So let's just give it a try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete all of these events um, so that we can start adding real events. And then over time, we can kind of just uh, text each other and, and kind of see how things go. Um, what you need to do to, to get everything going is you need to create a Gmail account if you do not already have one. Then you need to send me, Brian, a text or something like that giving me your Gmail account, okay, what, what the, you know, the address is. I'm going to send you an invite to the calendar, and then you're going to be able to accept the calendar, and you're going to be able to start editing the calendar. Um, Try, if it's not working on your phone and you're a phone person, then try the desktop top computer. That seems to have worked for Rob better than trying on his phone. So give that a try. But other than that, let's just uh, keep working through it and we'll kind of figure out the best way to figure everything out on the fly. All right. And I will uh, 